Welcome back, everybody, to Pro and Serious. We thought we'd change things up. And it's not just Pro and Serious. It's Pro and Serious while occasionally being stared at by a strange French woman. How about that? For some spicy 2024 Monster Hunter action. I don't like it. Look, you signed on the dotted line, and you will convoy. Convoy? You will lead the convoy, Serious Handler! And why is a French woman watching us? Just French people? I sort of thought that was a myth. Serious Handler, you, you surely know about the French- No, I would never joke. I am serious. I am both looking and not looking forward to this. Well, I, I hope you're looking, because otherwise it's going to be much harder. And by that I mean, I'm very, very scared of this cool you could, we're about to come into into contact. Oh hey, how goes the hunting? Me? I'm about to head off to the wilds by way. You are? My partner told me he's but isn't a stranger out there. So I'm getting ready to check it out. I'm sorry, but if I sent a message back saying, Quick, come to the desert, I've seen something weird, I would just ignore it. I'm sure you would. I think there's something that's not from this world. Like, imagine getting that. You just don't like Aiden. All right, from Aiden, okay, come to the desert. I think I've found something. It's an alien. What? Well, I mean, it, it couldn't... It, I mean, monster, there's some pretty alienish monsters. He won't shout about it, so I figured I'd go amuse him. <laughs> I didn't know you were, you were a comedian. No, it's very serious amusement. I prepared a quest to encompass me going to check on Aiden. You are allowed to look at it. And you called it a visitor from another world. Well, that was what Aiden called it. This is serious. All right. Roll me like corrugated pipe. What? I just thought of a round thing. So a corrugated pipe came to mind. But is it made by rolling metal? No, it's not only plastic, isn't it? That's a bad pipe, then. I don't like that insect glaive user. Um, well, actually, that's not the worst. I mean, I feel like if this is a good fight for it. Wow. What'd I get? Uh, you're a great sword. Damn, I'm, I'm getting some very frequent great sword rolls. Duty commenced. Oh, God. No Final Fantasy. I've forgotten. I've forgotten that little detail. There's a lot of little details. They put details in a lot of it. Like this little detail. Look at him, little cutie. He's a detail. <laughs> the episodes just don't react. Yep, that's normal. This is the only chance you're going to have to catch one of those cactuar. I'm going to go acquire this cactuar for me. I'm going to make them my babies. And then I'll grow them and breed them and have an army of sentient cactus that will kill all of my good friends. This is really good. Sorry, my enemies. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> yes! I've already taken two, I'll have you know. You're very cool about my uh, overall evil ambition to grow an army of Kakatoa in order to kill you. Well, I mean, you've tried to kill me a lot of times. It's never stopped you before. Why do you just make it sound like it's just like a little little fun little thing we do? Like you know, so you try to kill me, I try to kill you, and it just happens. No, I don't try to kill you. It's just a one-way thing. <laughs> so many little ones. Look at them go. Oh, I found the crystal. Me too. Oh, well, you know, maybe I found it first. How about that? Doesn't matter. We're not even in the same universe right now. It was you all along, Revulture. <laughs> Revolt! Oh, God, he's dodging! He's so quick! He's so powerful! Oh, hey, oh the wing flap. Oh. I have defeated the visitor from another world. You know what they say. It's like taking out one bird with three stones. <laughs> They're so fun. Hello. Imagine poor Diablos right now. What do you mean? Those are just nice little snacks. Oh yeah, and the Moogie? Moogle? Moogle? Moogle, right. Moogle. Moogie Moogle. Hey, Kulu. Oh no. Oh, he slaps it. It wasn't on purpose. <laughs> and I just love that it's a Kulu, because of course it's a Kulu that's done this. Well, someone's got to hold the, the big yeah, rock. I mean, he saw it over there and was like, that's strange, nobody's holding this big rock. I mean, I guess, I guess I'll volunteer. Well, I mean, if they're not going to do it. This is so much brighter than an egg. <laughs> I just can't believe they didn't make this a permanent event quest. I like, know, savor this. You only get to do it once per hunter. Like the fact that you can only do it the one time. Let's go. The moth must hate just like being in the idle position on your arm, by the way, when you run. Yeah, like, oh. like whoa, 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 Who ate half this melon and left a perfectly good half of melon? Probably Diablos. Half of melon sounds like a title. He was like, oh shit, this isn't cactus. Yeah. Oh, what is this? I hate this tasty melon. This isn't what I wanted at all. 
I just like seeing him, really. He's just so happy with his little crystal. Honestly, it's almost, it's kind of sad that we have to take this from him. I don't think we do. Like, what's the worst that happens? He just keeps growing catastrophic. Yeah, you know? man, like Godzilla level, just Kulu looming above Astera. Commander's like, mother of God. The, the Zora Magdaros capture quest, but it's a Kulu. Why can't I do things to him? Is he just like not coded for clutch claw? Did he not claw his clutch? I couldn't turn him and I couldn't flint shot him. Both are things I tried. I, I imagine you could probably tenderize him. That's so curiously quick. Yeah, you can tenderize him. Maybe it was just the animation of first damage. You maybe you didn't like it then. Whoop, 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 whoop. I am an insect man and I can fly. You are a bug guy. Whenever you need help, don't ask me. I don't work for free. Well, what did they ask you for money? It really changes, like, like it's such a, a little change, but the difference between, like, Ah, oh, no, I'm being mugged! Swoop! Superhero arrives! Beats up the mugger! Saves! Saves your purse! All right, that'll be $20, uh -huh. please. Okay, <laughs> just, just really, really changes the Mostly dynamic. Mostly because you would, uh, without question, have ones that exist that work in tandem with the robbers so that they generate the crime from nowhere to get money. <laughs> However... It's also unfair to assume a superhero shouldn't get money, I think. Yeah, but I mean, who's going to pay a superhero a salary? Probably should be the government. Would it be a super salary? I mean, at least somewhat reasonable. If the superhero's a rabbit, it's a super salary. No, I don't, I don't think a superhero rabbit would take a large salary as payment. <laughs> Well, how large would the salary have to get before it's sufficient I don't think payment? there is a world. It's like, it's like, I would like to pay you in pennies. Is that okay? It's like, I mean, technically it's the same value amount, but like, I'm never going to find someone to take all of these pennies feasibly. <laughs> One of the most annoying, yet technically completely legal things you're allowed to do is pay for things. That's in why uh, Canada just phased them out entirely. Everything, everything goes by fives from this point. What if something costs like eight? Eight dollars? No, eight, eight. It, is it is it is it still cents in Canada? The small small ones. Yeah. Why does something cost eight cents? What do you do? Uh, well, if you well, if you use digital money, they still go by th those exact things. If you do cash, they just round either way. The five cents. Oh, who who gets the rounding favor? Ah, I'll give you five. Well, there's no rounding no. favor. It's it, it's it's literally the number is closer to one or the other. <laughs> yeah, there should be. That should have been one of the switch skills for Insect Life. Sacrifice a bug. For a, a, a gain in, in a different. That feels far too major. That's like, that's like losing charge attacks on great sword. That was essentially the surge slash playstyle. Yeah, except you could still use the charge slashes even with it. I'm stunned. I think I'm dead. Yep. Oh, you look really cool though, Baroth. Why are you chasing the Kulu? This isn't about you. He just doesn't like seeing a Kulu that's bigger than him. Kulu, I know you're a big fan of your new thing, and I am too. But you can't just go around stealing crystals. That is his new thing. <laughs> Baroth, what the fuck? You were already here. Why did you just? Oh, he grew again. He saw his opportunity to grow, and he grew. This is like an anginath sized Kulu. I think that might be the point of the anginath on the map. Yeah, I guess it's the point of both of like the first others. It's, look, he's bigger than Baroth, and then it's, look, he's bigger than Anginath. To be fair, it never explains if the crystal's doing anything other than making him bigger. It does make his eyes glow. I believe it makes his damage higher every time as well. I really didn't know where you were going with that, but I'm glad it ended up being damaged. Well, what, what did you expect me to say? It's clear that he's growing proportionally. <laughs> it's just randomly not. That would be worse, if anything. <laughs> Come on, little Linian, don't be afraid. We're here to help. Linian is not quite a correct word for that thing, I don't Any think. Any small furry creature, it's a cat. Looks like a cat, smells like a cat. We know what palamutes are, that's a cat. Why did you smell the moogle? It got close to my nose, it's not my fault. <laughs> I just naturally sniff anything that gets too close, you know how it is. I mean, I have to imagine the first thing that you'd notice about the interdimensional beings is that they smell like something you wouldn't even recognize. Oh, I thought I timed that excellently, but I timed that the opposite of excellently. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh, maybe the world is not cruel? The world is not cruel! The world is not cruel. Oh my god, the world is cruel! It's so quick, too. Feisty. Well, he's full of energy. Full of strange Final Fantasy energy. You'll go attack me any time now. He's gonna come attack me soon. My god, man. It upsets me to see you do, this. You do this frequently! I succeed! Well, he was leaving the zone, and if he hadn't, then it would've worked. And I think I've had some very successful greatsword hunts. And if my aunt had wheels, she'd be a bike. What? Have you not heard that one? No, and it's also just patently untrue. <laughs> not everything with wheels is a bicycle. <laughs> That's not really the point. Yes, it is. That's that's an incredibly incorrect How statement. You dare you not? You respect. That's the best interpretation of Aretha Franklin's greatest hit that I've ever heard. <laughs> Are ye not ye respect? I just want to tell you what it means to me. <laughs>
R E S P. Oh, it spells respect. Yeah, that's the that's the point. <laughs> Congratulations, you passed grade two English. <laughs> it shocked me so much, I died. C R A A T E. I went back to camp. You see. Wait, C R A E T E. Carty. <laughs> Great, you spelled crate. <laughs> I got crated back to camp, man. No, a cart is what happens when you faint one, once uh, or twice. A crate is what happens the last time where they send you all the way to Astera. <laughs> I don't know where I am. Long-term delivery. Well, I've, I, ax I he's dead. I axed him in half. And now I can go to Final Fantasy in this small corner. Where are you? I'm roaming the desert. <laughs> this is a lovely crystal that's just half enveloped in wall. I see the cave. It was also right beside Kulu's dung. Well, that's how much he didn't expect that final hit. Serious, oh serious handler. Did you see the big old crystal? Yes. I took my man red him though, not being able to see him at all. Which is funny because he seems the only one who can't see our new friend. Why can't he see? Uh huh. Did I, have I missed, is this a Final Fantasy thing or a monster I think? Why can't I even see the Moogle? Because uh, uh, elves, it's only humans can see them. So Wyverians can't can't see them. But Aiden isn't a Wyverian. On the inside. I thought you said the Seeker. That's what confused me. No, the Seeker can see him. Aiden can't uh, see him. He's too dumb. It's just, it's just it. It's like, I don't know. It's too dumb. No. All I see is a floating ball of wool. I don't know what was everyone looking at. Why can our Spanish teach? For God's sake. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? <laughs> I was gonna say, why can our Palico speak Moogle? And for some reason, Palico became Spanish teacher. I didn't know that you, you had such long and strange relationships with cats. Why can Why can our Spanish teacher speak Final Fantasy, man? Huh? Answer me that question. I'm a big fan of when I go to Spain and and I introduce myself to people and they say meow. Why does Aiden look like the crystal has already corrupted him and he's moments away from killing us all and stealing it? He's not. He looks. Like he's not slept for three days. Well, I think that's because it's really bright in here. This is actually his bedroom. <laughs> well, where soon, can we keep it? Soon they will all see, and then it won't be Nali Kuga. The stupid monster hunter puns become a lot more sinister when they're uttered by a serial killer. <laughs> Scary looking chocobo stole my crystal. How dare he! Whoa, Hayden, what was that? <laughs> what, what was that move? What were you doing? Did you just try and steal the crystal? Nothing, nothing, no, no. We saw you. Did you just try and. I was, I was checking it for scratches. Why does he lean in like that? It's so funny. Because he can't see anything there. He doesn't understand what we're talking to. <laughs> if him, we're just sitting around in a circle imagining. What's happening? The sky is red. You think this is a problem? No. I've seen worse. The sky just gave birth to a hot rock. Yeah, but we Xenojiva was an egg made of energy. This can't be worse. You told me that there isn't such a thing as a hot egg. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm gently offended. I would definitely tell you there's such a thing as a hot egg. It's so easy. That's how they're supposed to be kept to be able to be turned into chickens. Oh, God. The thing is... Your mouth looks like it's ready to stab people. How bad of a day to be this dodo gamma. You're just minding your own business when a fucking meteor from a parallel world drops on you. And then the most scariest, powerfulest monster you have ever seen does that. To be fair, he was probably dead by the point the meteor it's hit. It's like, he's just got over his devil Joe after we saved him. And then... And then Behemoth's like, well, he's right, this is hilarious fun. Yeah, I mean, there's not really a good day for Dodo, is there? I mean, you name something after an extinct animal, it's just, you're just waiting for, waiting for trouble. And you don't need Team Rocket to tell you that it's definitely going to be double. It's time for double, it's double time. Oh yeah, the Final Fantasy damage numbers, I'd forgotten about them. The way that they look all fantasish. Is his back legs slash or his front legs slash? Well, it's not the back leg. Because if you remember, he's got a blunt half and a and a and a sharp half. Which is why I tenderized it, sort of. Just... You know what I've not missed? What? Casting Charybdis. Charybdis. Casting Charybdis. But how else will you know? I'm really alarmed and scared at a behemoth not in ultra min maxed end game high rank set gear mm -hmm. like i i am genuinely concerned that has been one of my greatest concerns of this uh, that this is going to be right brutal like oh he's under a crystal yeah i've been trying to get ammo to do it this entire time but looks like you beat me beat me we're in a zone that has like seven it looks like you beat me please stop beating me the zone has so many rocks on the floor Flooded, please I'm pretty sure you made extra rocks by using your clutch claw as well, because I see a red pile. 
Why do you punch my brain with your mean words? Or mean words of truth. <laughs> That's a great band name. No, it's not. It's a, nobody wants to live. I'm, I'm in a, I'm going to die. I'm in a tornado on the floor standing up. Hey, man. Like, there's literally nothing you could do from that point. I'm just there. He really is a little bit intent. Ow! Oh, God, I'm such a dumb ass! What were you saying? Oh! I managed to stealth up, and then I just walked my ass into a charybdis. Charibodis. A charibidice. Crab dis. Can you give me an example of a of a crab dis, please? You know? Dude! You didn't have to go that far. I'm glad I'm not a crustacean. Well, you'll never be one with that attitude. I just I just don't think I would be a popular crustacean. Well, people don't normally like the crust, so I just prefer the Asian. Welcome to Crust Nation, where we get rid of the middle of the bread. Only we only have the crust. <laughs> you monsters! You savages! You barbarians! You ever had a hollowed out baguette? <laughs> Why does that sound like a fake threat? You ever had a hollowed out baguette? Because you're about to. It's like a weird version of the, the MacGuffin from Transformers. It's the All Crust. <laughs> Our ancients tell a tale, a prophecy. Of one day, the middle will be restored. Hey, so where are our meteors? I don't, I don't know. Have we lost all of our meteors? Because he has cast meteors a few times. He's cast meteor. You want comet. Ah, uh, you remember. Yeah, I remember. Do you remember? I think it was a Wednesday? The 21st night of September? Yes! That's the one! I don't think it was a, I don't think it was a Wednesday. Oh, what, what day was it? Um, I guess it depends which year it was. I don't know which year it was. Oh, cool. He's angry at me. Oh, yeah. His little... His little red soupy... Soupy? His little red soupy body. His little red soupy face. <laughs> his little red soupy... F Ow. He goes all soupish. <laughs> he gets all weird and soupy when he's mad. Like, like, a, soup. like a deep tomato body. Mm, tomato buddy. I've been working on his tail, but it just... Yeah, I've been trying. It's sort of out of reach for me a lot of the time. Yeah, I've been dancing around it. Ooh, that was a good 560. Another comet, you say? Oh my god, ecliptic media! Well, there's a lot of choices. Why is it... Is it from him, or is it from where he's summoning it? It's the middle. It's the middle of the arena. Okay. Go, oh my god, why did it just spin me back round to him? Please, sir. No! Comet shattered. Comet shattered. Dream shattered. Why does that sound like heartbroken? Dreams ruined. You know the best part? Where does he go? Uh, he teleports. He's like, the meteor. Genuinely, where does he... Well, I mean, he got here in a, in a meteor. So, like, I'm sure he can, like, just sort of control himself as a meteor. Oh, right, that's Behemoth! <laughs> yeah, we don't need to do any further than that, right? That's a whole Behemoth right there. Hey, serious handler. We did, we made it back. She's looking real serious. What's up with it? Yeah, what up with that? Something's got her spooked. Let's go talk to Moogle. We're like, what do we do, Moogle? And he's gonna be like, kill it! And I'm gonna be like, oh, yeah. No, what he's gonna say is, the Well, he did well against the people last time. However, I fear the next time might not be as easy. It might have an increased statistical advantage. Like, a lot more health and hunt. Because it might be the real quest. When facing him, you will need strong, dependable partners that you can count on. Seriously, don't solo it. He can. He take it with his eyes. You're like, what? What does that mean exactly? What is? He look at you and take. He look at you and take. Take. Behemoth grab you with his eyeballs. Hey, hey, wait, wait. There's something I need to show you. Am I gonna like it? Depends how you feel about certain body parts, like feet. <laughs> okay. Wait, hold on a second. Why do you see me using an axe? You've been using an axe this whole time. No, I'm. I'm not. Oh. I think you might have a mod installed. Oh, is it not a real thing? I thought it was just- I thought that was just the shape of it. No, I'm just using Defender Greatsword. It's just a real basic standard thing. That's so funny. I remember when the, uh, the required strat was starting with bowguns, putting him to sleep and getting two sleep boulder drops and then going back for your actual weapon. That was extreme- extreme behemoth. Oh yeah, it was. That was extreme. Yeah, you needed- I, I never would have used a, a bowgun for regular behemoth. Okay. He didn't break me that badly. Jumping, advancing, slash! Weapon attack. <laughs> Weapon attack. Normal attack. It's just what it's called when you do the clutch claw attack, because they didn't have it in the game yet. So it just has the default tag. Oh, really? That's so funny. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Oh, oh yeah. his, his little lean forward. That's so sad. You got him tornado. Yeah, it's just letting me absolutely ream his tail. Yeah, Insect Lave can do a lot in this. All right, we need to, we need to get him... Under the ro rollers. Under the rollers? We need to get him under the rollers. I mean, I tried to do that right at the start of the fight, but he just doesn't like moving, if that's something you remember about Behemoth. Where if you walk away from him, he'll just cast spells for 40 seconds straight. Behemoth have the- Behemoth is healing! Behemoth is healing! Behemoth is healing! Yeah. If you don't go 
He does. Is he still casting at us? So I think that might actually just be Extreme Behemoth. Yeah. <laughs> He's such a funny little guy. Oh my god, stop casting it on me! Yeah, that's the one thing with Behemoth in a smaller group, is, like, you're just permanently dealing with Tornado, because there isn't four people to spread them out. Just want to attack the monster. And I don't know why I was explaining that, like it was gossip. You weren't until that moment. Like... The tornado is always on one of us, and there's only two of us, so That's we true. always have to deal with the tornado. I love that he still does a tail swipe without a tail. Can you believe this? Like, Behemoth would never... Yeah, he would. He, he did. Oh, because my friend told me that Behemoth doesn't have neat knees. Well, your friend is wrong. My friend knows what knees are. I don't think they do. My friend's knees. I'm friends with knees. I, I definitely don't believe that. Yeah, Extreme was so choreographed. Yeah. And I only really have memories of Extreme because we spent seven hours trying to beat it. Whereas Normal just kind of... Move him away. We spent more than seven hours trying to beat it. <laughs> we spent seven hours not beating it, gave up, and tried again another day. <laughs> and that was only because I refused to stay up later than I already had to continue doing it. Stop being upset with me. I've done nothing wrong. I doth protest my innocence. You shouldn't protest your innocence. I, I, I doth protest... Pro Process my guilt. No, I don't process my guilt. No, that's that's the drug. Ah, my guilt. Yeah, that's why I was avoiding attacking his head. Big media time. You've got one right beside us. Right, that convenient. Oh my god, that dropped a little bit sooner yes. than I. I think so. Yes, I, <laughs> that that went really fast. Actually, that was a problem. Right, like I I turned around like cool. Now let's watch <laughs> the it's hitting the ground. <laughs> I was just expected it to be so. I think it's because the tutorial one is so much slower. It's really like okay. I was inches from that killing me. All right, we're doing this now. Hey, glad that was where it was. I thought Behemoth ends in the Teostra zone. Or is that just extreme off? That's extreme, yeah. So where does- do we end in the Nergi Nest? Yeah, we end in the Nergi Nest. Well, yeah. honestly, I couldn't even remember what the base one ends in. I, I remember doing the base one, like, twice, and then extreme, like, a thousand times until it died. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh god, no. Well, goodbye, Cruel World. Hello, Cruel World. Unless you can flinch him. I'm hitting him. This is the best I can- oh, well, you've- uh, now I definitely can. Oh, fuck, yeah, the- the grab- the grab does that. Yep. <laughs> Wow. You don't even get out of the raw flinch of him going angry. Before. That's why I absolutely despise have, having his enmity on anyone, honestly. This is so stressful, I don't remember it being this stressful. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus I just Christ. knocked him over with my bug after he sent you flying into the zone. That's just not okay. <laughs> like, you just emerged from it. Oh, I can't. I can't. Can you come down here, please, dog? I'd forgotten how just this fight is. Oh my god. It's good at breaking you down. Oh, it's good at doing that. Another comment on me. Okay. Okay, I see okay. why. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, this comment's a bit close. I'll, I'll, I'll chance I this. I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The meteor hit the literal top of the comet I was standing behind. No. Oh. All right, time for extreme. <laughs> I'd rather die. But we've done that so much. This fight is not mechanically built to have less than four people running around. It's like, it's just not. It's so difficult to deal with the amount of things being cast when it's less. Like, we're doing so much more damage than you were supposed to be doing yep. at this point because of the defender weapons, but it just doesn't matter. Like, sure, we don't have, like, full-on sets, but... The difference between not a full-on set and a full-on set is much less than the difference between defender weapons. Like, we're killing him in, like, half the time, I think, that it was before. But it's a sure struggle getting there. But who cares, because you can't fucking survive! I do, however, want to look at the old, uh... Oh, no, I can't look at the... Oh, I can't look at the old damn... Draken, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one we all wore, we all loved to wear. Yeah, the attack and the crit and the crit boost and the power prolonger? Power pro Yeah, it was an insect glaive set. It was actually an insect glaive, because it was Dragoony, wasn't it? So, yeah. It's Dragoon armor, yeah. God, that yeah. was the Fatalis before Fatalis. And it got outscaled so quickly. <laughs> yeah. Like, imagine... Imagine the concept of having, like, three skills maxed out as being solid armor. <laughs> That's a really good point. Like, think about fucking sunbreak skills. It's like, all right, I've got about 23 skills, and I could do one or two more. All righty then, ladies and gentlemen. That's a reliving of Behemoth, and I'm not sure I'm necessarily glad that we did, but hopefully you enjoyed it. We did. My memory of that fight is really tarnished. I was like, oh yeah, silly behemoth. That'd be fun to, to do that again. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah, it's hot. It's gonna be really fun. I've always remembered that I, I don't... It's, it's a lot. It's not that I don't enjoy it. It's just a lot. Oh, 
in any case, I suppose all that's left is to get cold. I already am cold. Okay, old man, just die. I'm sorry, that was about as that was too far. Oh no! Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe to the Bubble Bar. Consider supporting the future channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good bye. Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is. Uh, goodbye.